Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Alden LaCroix. Welcome back. Well, our summery weekend is long gone. Feels much more like normal here across downtown Eugene. You can see little pops of color as we are nearing a peak of fall foliage across much of the Willamette Valley late this week. I will say cooler temperatures and the rain moving in tonight and over the next several days will greatly help out. Right now we're starting to see some of those steadier showers across areas uh, up into the foothills, mainly toward Douglas County. That's indicated by these dark shades of green and yellow right here. A lot of this anywhere from say Coos Bay up towards areas of Eugene really isn't reaching the ground just yet. It's above our head. It's just too dry here down toward the surface for that light rainfall to kind of make its way down. Those of you up towards Newport and especially uh, Walport, uh, that is eventually moving in toward the Corvallis area. So I would expect some light showers to pick up for you folks up in Benton County here in the next little bit. Here's cold front number one. This arrives tonight. Steadier showers will start to develop and that will persist through the early morning hours of tomorrow. Another wave of moisture will continue throughout the course of tomorrow afternoon, but the steadier rainfall that's going to be setting up shop by Thursday morning. And you can actually see that storm system uh, down just behind that. And that is going to be moving in for Thursday morning. So here's by seven o'clock tonight. Uh, showers transition to a steadier rain by around seven, eight o'clock. That'll eventually spread inland. You can see temperatures by this time frame already starting to cool as a result of the sun setting and the cooler rain. Uh, steadier rain starting to make its way in and eventually uh, setting up shop across the foothills. But notice snow levels are pretty high tonight, up toward around 7,000 feet. So the snow potential doesn't really come until later this week. It's going to be toward Thursday morning as I second cold front marches in across the region, but you can see all eyes are kind of on Sunday as well. We get a steadier rainfall event, so the wettest days of the week looks like it's going to be on Thursday and towards Sunday. If you want to get outside, take advantage of some dry weather. Friday and Saturday are going to be your days. Here's the rainfall amounts. This is why we're not expecting a whole lot of wet conditions over the next couple of days. Just patchy showers because we're only going to be adding up to about a quarter of an inch. That's through Thursday morning. Persistent precipitation, rain, and also snow up into the Cascades. This is when we're expecting snow levels to drop. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and they're going to be bottoming out at around 4,000 feet. That includes areas like Government Camp up north toward Highway 26, and even portions of uh, the Diamond Lake area. We'll see some light accumulations. How much are we expecting? Well, don't get your hopes up. It's not a whole heck of a lot. We're only expecting anywhere from around three to possibly six inches uh, through Friday night, but you can see the spine of the Cascades is going to be the sweet spot as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. So for the Oregon coast, on again, off again showers tomorrow, steadier rain Thursday morning, and then we get the sun breaks by Friday and Saturday with temperatures in the 60s. Across the Roseburg area, about 63 Wednesday afternoon. Rain expected in the morning on Thursday. Then we clear things out and we're back up to 75 Saturday afternoon. Up to the Cascades, there's the drop with uh, down to the snow, uh, 35 degrees on Thursday with snow levels down to around 4,500 feet. And for Eugene and Corvallis, uh, this weekend looks nice, but we got a couple of kind of showery mm -hmm. days. Not a wet day or washout, but on again, off again showers. That looks good there on Saturday for the game. Thank yes, you. Yes, it does. Next on KTCI 9 is at 4 o'clock.